All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number seven on this Will Cheese Fail Cold Cast Marathon. I want to let everybody know, I know the Yord Woodwatch uh, logo on there says $20 off. It's actually 5% off by using the promo code BOSE. That $20 one was back during the holiday season. But we'll try and get that back for a future yeah, tournament. Yeah, I, I made the, that's my bad, because I, I got sent the, uh, the, the no notification to change the overlays for Corsair. And I did not even see that that overlay had been changed to $20. What he's saying is he pretty much fucked up. I, I fucked up. It's true. But I can fuck up. It's technical alpha. Exactly. There's going to be some reason to call it technical alpha. I love the fact we have that down there because any mess up that we make, we can just call it a technical alpha. It's, it's you know, it. it's the same reason why Blizzard leans <laughs> on that shit for like seven and a half years. Yep. You just, you know, why not? Mr. Max was playing. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of going to a restaurant for the first time. Having heard that it was great, Oof. and then finding out, unfortunately, that it was complete shit. I'm so salty right now, man. This is... <sighs> you ruined my day. You ruined my day. Isn't that one of the worst things in the world? Let me tell you, let me tell you a true story, and I hope Heli Famous right now is watching the stream. This fucking guy, alright? He's my sushi bro. We go with the sushi once or twice a week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's been bugging me for, about this Vietnamese restaurant. And he's like, this is the greatest Vietnamese shit ever. The soup is to die for. The subs are great. And I told him, like, bro, I just want my sushi. Like, I don't care how good it is. When I got a craving for sushi, I just want to go. I don't leave the house often. That's my jam. So he kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me. He's like, listen, I'll pay for it if you think it's bad. And I'm like, no, I'm still not going. So he kept bugging me. Eventually, I said, all right, dude, I'll go next Thursday. All right, fine. You finally caved. I caved, but you it was caved. like, but I was giving myself a week. I was like, I'll go next Thursday. Oh, okay. You wanted your sushi that week specifically. Yeah. So he was like, he's like, all right. And then, lo and behold, Thursday morning comes. The guy's blowing up my phone. Let's go, Vietnamese. Let's go, let's go. And I'm like, I didn't want to go. I knew it was just, I wasn't going <laughs> to like it. So we get there. It's this little tiny fucking restaurant on Bedford Highway. Ain't nobody in there. There's like one person. Vietnamese restaurant on the Bedford Highway. You've already lost me. This 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 girl comes up. She's she's like, what can I get for you? And I said, I have no idea. And he and he goes and I said, listen, I'll go next Thursday and I'll even pay for you. I even told him I'll pay because okay. he wanted to go so bad the, the week before. Okay. I said I'll pay. Okay. So I was footing the bill. You know what this motherfucker did? He ordered a sub. He ordered four starters. He ordered two massive soups. He got all, like, dude, the bill was $70 at lunch. And I get the soup. It The, the meat in the soup literally tasted like TV dinner meat. You know those, like, old, remember back in the day yeah, at my yeah, place, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, TV yeah, dinners? TV dinners, yeah, yeah, yeah. It tasted like the turkey you would get in those TV dinners. It was bland. I hated it. I was salty. I had a $70 bill. I was pissed. I wanted my sushi. I didn't eat it all. I hated him. He ruined my day. He ruined my week. I'll never eat Vietnamese again. And it was a horrible experience. Okay. And that happened like three weeks ago. All right. Okay. Pro tip one. If you go to any Asian themed restaurant in the entire city, doesn't matter where you're going to get it. Two things to look out for here in Halifax. Okay. Two things to look out for. Step one. Is the place ran by people of the actual ethnicity that you're going to? It was. It, I, I'll give them that. So they were, they they were, were they, Vietnamese. They were Vietnamese. Step two. Are Vietnamese people eating at this restaurant? No. The workers were eating their own food there. Were the waiters Vietnamese? It was just one girl in the whole restaurant. She was the one that was taking the money. She was the one who was doing the food orders. She was doing everything. Speaking of everything, this we'll guy is coming up with later. everything. A shit ton of Hellions with Bruce Rain. Brew Frame Harry. And he is not getting in there that anytime meat, that soon. That meat and that soup was cooked by Brew Frame Hellion. Uh, it was really nice. He, he scouted this uh, these Hellions out with the Lings. He could obviously see it with the Overlord, so he put the Queens in position. And unfortunately for High Five, he is opening up straight into his counter. And that is a lot of Queens. And Hellions are terrible against Queens. It's just, you're not going to break Honestly, this wall. Honestly, you have enough Queens. Most things are terrible against Queens. That's very true. Queens are just good. Queens, you get to a certain point of Queens and they're just going to kill you. Alexson is, uh, well, he is now going to slowly start moving out here. These lanes aren't going to do shit. Although there is a lot of them now. There's a lot of them There's a lot of them. Is he going to get this? Is he going to get this? Wow, lanes just get wrecked. Oh, nice transfuse on that hatchery. Oh, the Hellbats. The 
Patrick going to survive? It's going to be awfully close. Yep. Yep. Yes, it is. And he saves the uh, last queen. Yep. I thought he was going to lose an extra one, but he saved it. That transfuse off just in time. Kept that hatch alive. I'm liking it. Now we're queuing the mech roll, uh, which is honestly still a bit of a problem for that Zerg. Because at this time, he lost a couple of his queens. He lost uh, several lings. Yep. And he is going directly into Muta, which unless... He gets up enough to be able to do you know, to attack in and out and get the mineral line and really catch the Terran off. Mm. Terrible against Thor. Yeah. Just awful. Uh, but he's going to need more Thors, and that's what he's doing. He's building them. It's kind of like I can see why he's doing it, but at the same time, it's kind of ballsy because he can make that transition into Thors very quickly. Uh, but I understand his his you know his psyche here. I I, I see why he's getting Mutas, especially if he's going to be going mass Hellions. I mean, mm. why wouldn't you get that? But unfortunately, a couple of Thors are here. And now he is moving out. And this time with SCVs as well to repair. As long as long as when he notices these mutas, he gets some missile turrets back at home. Just in case these mutas are like, all right, I can't fight this, but I am going to go and wreck his economy. There is a chance. If he gets up enough spine crawlers, th this is going to do nothing. This composition no. will just melt he's, in he's, seconds. He's macroing right now. So if... If the if the Zerg somehow holds this off, he's golden. Yep. He's three base to one. He sees it coming too, though. But if he doesn't, he's in some shit. I uh, think, and he's building spine crawlers, but my god, are they late. I think he's in some shit. He's in some shit. Yep. He's definitely in some shit. That is a scary army, bro. That is a really, really scary army. It's already mech, and now you're putting blue flame at the front, uh, and there's not really anything here to counter blue flame outside of the uh, outside of the queens. Uh, those Thors are just gonna run up in there and do some really Oh, he's gonna lose a Thor. He's gonna lose a Thor very quickly. Oh, he manages to get wow. out. Wow. The blue flame burn a path to the Thor. That was to beautiful. Get out. That was it beautiful. gets repaired in 0.2 seconds. That was and beautiful. And now with the sparse spine crawlers that took so long to get up, the queens are trying to best the hold. Yep. And they're doing a pretty some good nice job. nice micro here with these queens. We're pretty much down to the Thors at this point. The Terran doesn't have anything This is going to be close, dude. I've the been... SCVs are not repairing. A Thor is going to go down over here. There's a surround. The SCVs are not going to be able to repair this. He needs oh, to get around the repair, other Thor before repair, the links repair, go over repair, the other one. Repair, 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 oh, repair, my God. Repair, he made it. Repair, repair. Get on it. He oh, my God. He lives. Wow. That will be that pretty much. The, the Zerg wow. at this point is just going to have to blow the miracle. Here comes more blue flame. He's going to turn them into a slightly more devastating blue flame. Yeah. Uh, and though he loses a Thor, uh, he will not lose the second. No, and a lot, and I mean a lot, clutch, is dying. Clutch repairs. 115 units dead. There were several wrenches blown through in about a span of five seconds repairing that Thor and keeping him alive. 12 more lings on the way. It's not going to make much of a difference, even with just these two. He's got the he's got the SCVs. Well, here's the thing, Adam. He's got 1,700 minerals. But I mean, if he, he puts down a, if he puts down enough spine crawlers, he still has that spire. He was saving up a lot. Two queens have popped. Uh, he's got more queens in production here. If he can buy a little bit of time, there is still only one Thor. He needs to focus on this. Oh! He puts the bailings into it, but they soak right up into that Thor, doing Not next quite. to no damage. Not quite. There's one more bailing trying to get in there. The, uh, there's still SCVs alive in that group. Now, the Zerg can still hold this. He can. He can still hold just with wings. He um, won't hold that. No, that two more is going to be a bit difficult. He won't hold that. That's a bit more. That's yeah, that's asking a bit much. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering where the where the Terran units were, and as it turns out, here they are. Now this is it. That's no. three Thors. That's that's pretty much ripping in in Pepperino. Yeah. yeah. I'm salty about that Vietnamese place though. Vietnamese food is delicious. You just hit a really terrible restaurant. Oh my god, bro! I was like really awful. I was not happy about it at all. Not but even. But you know, bit. that's like going to a bad any restaurant, really. Like there, it's like Greek restaurants in Halifax are everywhere. There are some absolutely horrible Greek restaurants in Halifax, and then there are some that are amazing. But Vietnamese on the best of highways. Not, it's bad. That's one place well, I would not be thinking to the, go look for Vietnamese. The worst food. part about it is I knew it was going to be bad. I just, I had a... a you had that feeling. Yeah, an inclination. An inclination? You were just, you, you know, you were looking to enhanceify In your day with some there. sushi. And, uh, and I was instead, trying to enhanceify it, but instead I've got an inclination. <laughs> Fucking Jesus, man, I'm retarded. You've got a raging inclination? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop trying, I mean, bro. I'm gonna write off today. I mean, Four hours of sleep, man. That's you what know, I'll, that's what it happens. Do English becomes very hard when when uh, you're on little sleep. <sighs> I can't speak it when I'm rested, let alone you know. Ay, ay, ay. But uh, good job there with the Terran clutch repair. That, yeah, that actually that repair clutch was pretty safe. Clutch repair on that. That was pretty spectacular. Just because this wasn't necessarily like a cheese cheese. Uh, it was, uh, you know, an all-in. I'm still going to give this second place. Uh, was, yeah, second place. Even if it was a cheese, I wouldn't give it first. I think mean, no. this is still second place. Second place. It was an exciting game. I'm comfortable with that. It was exciting. Yeah. That, that that repair was good. It was a really solid game. I liked game. it. I liked it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for that. Uh, big shout-out to our sponsors, Loot Crate, Corsair, and Yord. Uh, if you guys want a chance to win some Corsair swag, whether you're watching this on YouTube or on Twitch, link will be in the description of this video. And if you're watching on Twitch, type in exclamation giveaway and sign up there. Uh, we will be right back with game number eight right after this.